Hello everybody, my name is Mark Blyer, and welcome back to Three Scary Games. Here at the comment board, we're starting off Jelly the Skeleton, first like. Good job. So proud of you. Kisses, XD. Jelly the Skeleton, please do not make this channel about Friday Night Funkin'. I would never. There's plenty of other people who do that and are way better at the game than I am, so. Big Bear Bard, Ooga Booga. I agree. Local Hot Mills says, Let's go! Thank you. Alright, so on the agenda for today. Uh, Gollum. That guy. Okay, yep. We gotta go to the temple. Um, I'm pretty sure I found the temple at some point. But whenever I updated and it, like, reset my world map, I don't know where it is anymore. Oh, lord. Well, anyway. Welcome back, everybody. As you have noticed, I haven't uploaded in like 10 days, and that is because uh, I've been at school. School has started. That's crazy, right? We got any schoolgoers here? It sucks. I don't enjoy it. Average high schooler mentality. I know. And on top of that, I've barely got any time to make videos. Well, basically no time. I'm doing this on a weekend because it's the only time I've got. Because I go to school, then as soon as I get off of school, I usually go to work. Then after I'm done working, I just go to the gym and work out for like the next three hours. That doesn't leave much room for anything else really. So as you can imagine, trying to fit in making videos in there is a little bit difficult to say the least. Whenever I do get free time, I'm usually like, do I really want to spend it making a video? So that's where I've been at, so going forward, I mean, the upload schedule is not going to be consistent. I'll just be honest with you. I mean, it never has been. <laughs> Alright, so we go into the jungle. I could use a temple teleportation potion. Here's what we'll do. And now I know where the temple is. I thought it was over there. I forgot my temple key. Thank you, Ashton. Very good. I've been looking at the uh, new Calamity updates and stuff, seeing what they're doing. It is going to be crazy. Certifiably. Just like all the resprites they're doing look awesome. Or at least the concept art for them looks good. Ignore the voice crack. I'm glad Calamity's still getting updated. They're honestly like the people developing Calamity are like as dedicated to the mod as the actual Terraria developers are to their game. On another note, what have I been doing in my free time? I've been playing the heck out of some Minecraft beta. I'm talking beta 1.7.3, you know? I do believe 1.8. 8 was whenever they added the hunger mechanic, uh, but I've been playing really old Minecraft. I spent like, okay, I talk about like not having free time. Yesterday was my cheat day, right? I spent like a solid 8 hours straight just playing the Minecraft beta. Like I was having the time of my life. And I've been doing some like research and I've come across a few videos and it's like there's people making mod packs for 1.7.3 and they look really good. It's kind of like a reimagined, like, huh, if the game had gone in a different direction, like, where would it be now? And, uh, it's really cool looking. I'm gonna be playing that a lot. Maybe I'll make a video about it. I've always wanted to do this sort of evolution series, where I start off on, like, the beta, but then every now and then I update it, like, periodically to the newer versions. I did see somebody else had made a video series about that on a server, of course, but I do not remember what the video was called or who made the video. There's the temple. Okay. Everyone knows how the temple goes. Let's be real. Let me be clear. What are you? The whole door. Okay. Get over yourself, buddy. If you want to know, this is a good way to clear out pressure plates and stuff. Wee. Very nice. Look at that. Purdy. Oh, what? How the... Did I blow up the altar? Can I do that? What? Oh, wait. Did the altar, like, spawn on, like, a dart trap or something? What did... Why, why is the altar, like, an item? What happened to it? I'll have to go over that in, like, the footage or something. That's really weird. Alright, well... 
I guess we'll give Golem a test run. I don't think I need to make an arena or anything. It's Golem, to be fair. Everyone knows how Golem is. Which is to say, a pushover. Time to meet your maker, Golem. Hold up. The spray. Yeah, uh, oh. Give me my damage back. Um, well. It's certainly going, isn't it? Let me use something else. Uh, he's still getting pretty shredded, honestly. I would say it's going well. Considering any time I want, I could just switch to this and heal to full health. Which feels a little bit cheaty, not gonna lie. But you know what, if it's something I can do, then it's something I can do. Healing potions be danged. Alright, well that was... about what I expected. And hey, we got the Pixar! Get out of here, pickaxe axe. No one likes you. Oh, I need to make a cactus harvester with this. Alright, well, I'm actually gonna go ahead and find that a few more times, just to farm treasure bags. We'll be back in a little second. I'm gonna go ahead and say that's enough, because I don't feel like farming anymore. Enough reason because... Mm, don't want to. Uh, my storage is getting a little bit too close to being full. Not a big fan of that, honestly. Alright, treasure bag time. One, two, three, four. Oh my lord! Ooh la la. Well, we got everything I need, actually. Very nice. Zest hatchet. That would be really good if I were playing melee. Give me money. Though, I would say I don't really need it. Uh, but the main thing I wanted was this heating ray, and he gave me a lot of essence of sunlight. Yeesh, okay. Staff of Earth. I'll think about it. Main thing I want is the laser. I guess I can give it a try. I mean, it does, like, a lot of damage, but to be fair, the terror ray doesn't do much damage, but it's also, like, the strongest thing I have. I think I'm gonna go ahead and store Primordial Earth. I mean, it served its purpose, which was to be used, like, a couple times. And we got the Sunstone, which I can use to make the Celestial Stone, which is just really good. Thank you, Gollum. Very cool. Quick, make my rock staff mythical. 400 damage. Okay. I mean, it's a boulder. It feels impactful. What is that? Unlimited merchant killer? Oof. Oh. I gotcha. Because they never asked if they could move in. True. Oh lord, permafrost, how much health do you have? 20,000! Okay, you get to live, honestly, like, oof. What do you got for sale? Ooh! Alright, let's see Mythical Heat Ray. NPCs, don't kill him before he gets to me, please. It's definitely not bad. Half of these episodes is always just a weapon showcase, isn't it? Ugh. So, the main point of... Oof. Eesh. Catalog moment. Uh, I... Need to fight Plaguebringer, Goliath. That is what I need to do. A plague has befallen the jungle. Good for it. Don't care. Okay, let's make it daytime. This is a little bit depressing. Oh, wait, a diddly darn second. I can go to the uh, ba -ba 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 abyss and get the Scoria ore. I, that is like a major progression thing. Okay. Good job, Ashton. Thank you. I can make the abyssal diving gear. What the? Very nice. Quick, give me something good. Please. Menacing? Okay, that works. Edward, give me what I need. Edward, set me up! For real. Let's hope my abyss isn't uh, another feature that was broken whenever the game updated, because I haven't been down here since that has happened. And that would be unfortunate if that was something that had transpired. Quick piranhas of 57 health. 
56 health. That is insane. Okay. I missed some Scoria coming in too. Good job, me. LMAO, Scoria Ore is mine. Raffle Copter. Lull. And yeah, I do think my abyss is broken, because this should not be playing underground music. Uh, in my opinion. Maybe that was just a calamity decision they decided to make. However, I really doubt that. Love it whenever my game breaks. Okay. Well, I might just be able to go to the bottom then. If you're not gonna limit my oxygen. Notice how there are no abyss enemies spawning. Uh, and there's jellyfish and like anglerfish everywhere. I thought I might want to mention that. This is kind of silly. Remember back a while ago when I was like, yeah, I'm not gonna farm for luminile or depth cells because I'm too lazy. I literally wouldn't have been able to if I wanted to. So I stand by that. There's a freaking giant bat under here. I mean, come on. Wow, look at that. The chest or whatever that I forgot to bring the key for. Whoops. Okay, well, I don't need it anyway, but... That's, uh... I wasn't even wearing the diving gear that entire time. I didn't even realize that. 1,282 Scoria ore should be good enough, I guess. Will I upgrade my armor set? Probably not, honestly. I mean, like... Come on. Don't play with me like that. Whoa, I can make a Gatling Gazer. Gazer? What am I talking about? Gatling Laser. Once I fight Plaguebringer. Oh wait, Infernal Rift. Okay, no, that's really good. What am I talking about? Okay. And Forbidden Sun. Oh my lord. Helium Flash. Oh my goodness. Ah, lazy. Is that it? Oh no! Forbidden Sun jump scare. And what do I need? You are still healing. He's gonna be healing for like the next... <laughs> Playthrough is going to be over before he's at max health. I don't have a Sky Fracture. In what world do I not have a Sky Fracture at this point? Have I just been forgetting to make that? Please tell me I have a Hollow Desert. Sort of. I sort of have a Hollow Desert. That could work. Okay, uh, we're getting Weapon Bloat again. Okay, well, let's uh, speed this up a bit. Very nice, very nice. Martian probe! Oh no. Actually, wait a second. Bring it. Doing things a little bit out of order, but I think we'll survive. Or not, because I just kind of like brought them right to me. Oh lord. Oh no. I have my potions on. Everybody, let's take this calmly. My NPCs are not taking this calmly. Calm. Calm. Let's take a chill pill, guys. You know, dropping on my head is not chill. Thank you. Quick. How quickly can I... <laughs> Speed run. Ah. Yes. Goblin, you're not dead yet. Good for you. Proud. Mythical. Okay. This is gonna be the best weapon I've ever had or something. Wowzers. Quick, everybody come to my, uh... Oh gosh, this weapon is wacky. So there's like multiple mage weapons I need from the Goblin Invasion, so... If I can get them anyway. Quick, uh... Mage combination or something, I don't know. There we go. Oh, Lord, he coming. Okay, Martian Saucer is where it's at. Youch. Pain. Okay, this is the part where it starts going a little bit crazy. If I don't kill it before... Okay, never mind, it's fine. I got the Xeno Staff. If I was playing Summoner, that would be great. I did do a Summoner run a while back, and I was farming for that for like three separate Martian invasions. Maybe four, actually. I know it take a while. Very fun. I love playing Summoner, because I'm just farming for like the entirety of the playthrough. Give me that. 
That's a mushroom. Why would you think I would want the mushroom? Can I have this? Thank you. Smile. Uh, wingman. Looks like, uh... It ain't bad. But li nothing is as good as the terror ray. What's going on here? I do need two of these, right? Yep. And that's the second one. Okay, well, there we go. That's that. Now if I could get the freaking Gatling laser gun, that'd be cool. <laughs> laser jump scare. Oh yay, the Martians have been defeated. Okay, well, that was something. Oh, AO? I'm keeping this, question mark. When is Duke Fishron on this list? After Ravager, yeesh, okay. Ah yes, my bounty is plentiful. Okay, so I would like to try... Where is the Scoria armor? It's called Hydrothermic. Oh, look at you, you're special. Good for you. Look at me, I'm called Hydrothermic. Who do you think you are? Why did I just take that off? I would like to shoot the enemy, thank you. What do I need? Hellstone. Yeah, of course. Figures. Let's just try it out. It could be good. Will it be better than the uh, Spectre? I don't have high hopes for it. Spectre's very good. Okay, so 134. 131. Okay, well, let's look at the set bonus. Hmm. Magic attacks to summon damaging and healing flare orbs on hit, and you emit a blazing explosion when you're hit. Intriguing. Well, I do look quite cool. And on top of that, if I were to go down here and get some Souls of Flight, could make the wings for it. And I'm pretty sure those wings are better than the Spectre wings. Yeah, they're just a little bit better, and they would boost my damage, so that would be still not quite as much as the full Spectre set. And again, are these menacing? Yeah, they are. Okay, well... Okay, now it's back up to the same. Okay, well... Let's just test it, I guess. Let's do the twins or something. Yeah, uh... I mean, it's kind of hard to tell. If anyone has a preference, they can tell me which armor they want me to wear. I don't... it's not too big of a deal. I don't think they're really too much different in terms of damage. I'll tell you what. I'll keep the Spectre. It's just like... Yeah, it's just... it's better. Let's be real. Alright, well, I was gonna do Plaguebringer in this episode, but... I don't think I'll really have enough time to do that. Uh, just to end off, I guess I'll go to the jungle and try to farm a bit for the, uh, whatchamacallit, plague canisters or whatever. Hello everybody, my name is Markiplier. Welcome back to Three Scary Games. Welcome back to Try Not To Laugh. There we go. I'm about to die. They were not lying. That plague do hurt. Oh, look at you losers. I can shoot through walls. Cry about it. Oh, lord. No disrespect, sir. Yeah, honestly, I, I couldn't do this with the Scoria armor. Oh, sorry. Hydrothermic. I forgot. It's it's cool. It's too unique. We can't just call it by what it is, okay? Okay. Uh, I'm gonna fight Plantera. Why not? I have a reason. I'll show you. Don't worry about it. I'm not doing it just for kicks. And be like, no, Ashton, please don't. I'm so scared. I don't care. I think, as far as weapons go, Terror Ray and Tears of Heaven are still the best that I've got. Oh, this, <laughs> this is pretty good. Especially for this. Oh, alert. Crowd control, and this is going off. Can you believe it? The Scoria weapon is better than the actual Inferno Rift. Okay. Terror rate, I mean, come on. Does quick stack work for magic storage? Oh, lord, it does. Okay. And I got the wasp gun. I, I forgot that was a weapon. Whoops. Outclass now. Here it is. This is what I wanted to make. The rainbow gun. Wow, it's so silly. Uh, but that'll be used to make the cosmic rainbow. Which hopefully is good. Uh, Infernal Rift. I am sorry, but there's really no bosses at this point that would really be all that good on either. 
Plague Ring of Goliath moves around fast. Betsy moves around fast. Empress of Light, I would say, moves a little bit quickly. <laughs> Ravager, no, nah, not really. Duke Fishrod, yes. Ashton DS, yes. Lunatic Cultist, Lunatic Cultist, sorry. Yes. Wait, are we, we're supposed to fight Profane Guardians before the Moon Lord? How's that work? Well, we're supposed to do the Lunar Event, and then I guess while Moon Lord's Summoner Timer is ticking down, we're supposed to fight Profane Guardians and Dragon Folly. Is that how I'm supposed to do this? I don't think that's ordered correctly. Here we go. This is the new lineup. This is what peak performance looks like, like it or not. Alright, well, that was productive, I would say. What is on my back? Oh, wait. I know what that is. The, uh, the heat ray. It has, like, a little backpack on it. That's cool. What? I did not know that. Is that in, like, base game Terraria? It's actually really cool. Okay. Alright, guys. Well, if you enjoyed it, uh... Smash the like button, smash your face. I don't know. What did they say in like 2011? I want you to smash, smash the like. No! <laughs> it's Jacksepticeye or something. He's just like, smash the like button in the face like a boss. Alright, well, I'll see you later. Goodbye. <laughs>